A serious warning tonight. Doctors say flat out a negative COVID test is no reason to gather this holiday weekend, especially since those tests can sometimes give a false negative. Tonight, 194 COVID patients are in the hospital at LA County USC Medical Center, a place Ruby Hernandez doesn't want to end up. I have a bit of a cough, but it's not too bad. Um, overall, I'm just very tired all the time, just very tired. She asked that we not show her face. She tested positive last Thursday for COVID-19, two days after she took a COVID rapid test that was negative, an apparent false negative. She went to work in her office for those two days thinking she was in the clear. But then this email came with her second test results from a PCR test. She was positive. She says she felt terrible for unknowingly exposing her coworkers. And I showed them and they, I will never forget the look on her face. Like she kind of like, what, what? Like you have been here. And a prime example, doctors say, of why people cannot rely on negative test results as a reason to gather, especially for Christmas. It is not good for that and that is a very dangerous strategy. You can turn positive at any point. Tonight in LA County, there's a total of 5,709 COVID patients in the hospital and ICU care is all but maxed out. Dr. Brad Spellberg is the chief medical officer at County USC Hospital and says these tests are not always accurate. The COVID test misses cases. There's no question about it. Best estimate is it'll pick up about 80% of cases, which means it misses 20% of them. Hernandez says she'll be isolating for Christmas and says you should too. I would play it safe and just not go. I didn't see my parents, at, I didn't see my family at all. If not, the critically high surge we saw from Thanksgiving, Dr. Spellberg says will get worse after Christmas. There will be no way for us to handle that surge of patients. Dr. Spellberg says the best way to protect yourself right now is to assume everyone is COVID positive. Keep your distance and cover your face. Reporting in Boyle Heights, Rick Montanez, KCAL 9 News.